Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a really quick tutorial showing you how to make the formula bar bigger in Power Apps. So if you take a look here, I just have a button with some random PowerFX code that's repeating. Um, you can see that the size of the formula bar by default is pretty small. Um, there's a bunch of white space in it. Uh, and when you're working on projects that have a lot of PowerFX code, this can be pretty annoying. And there is a setting that you can go in and change to make this larger. So to do that, you're gonna wanna go to settings at the top right and then upcoming features, and then you wanna go over to the retired section. So right now it's the second option, and it's called the enhanced formula bar. If you take a look at the description, it just lets you know that a lot of the features in this uh, have been rolled into the current formula bar, um, and that a full web page refresh is required before the feature can be enabled. Also a good thing to note is this is an app level setting, so you'll have to do this per app, so you won't be able to just turn this on and have this affect all of your apps. Uh, and another thing to note is that rules are incompatible when this is turned on. So now we're just gonna turn this on and then click OK. Uh, and then we can close off of this and we will file and save our app. And once that's done, we will just exit the app and let that change take effect. So now if we click back into our application and let it load, so we can click on our button that has our code and click on the formula bar. Uh, and we can see now that we do lose the option for find and replace uh, and that we can't drag the formula bar up or down to our liking. There's pretty much two presets. We have this one. And then if you click expand formula bar, you can see that it fills up much more of the screen now. So again, this feature is retired and could be deprecated at any point. But for now, I certainly think it's a handy trick to know, especially if you're working on a especially if you're working on a project that does have a lot of PowerFX code. So hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think about this trick in the comments below and we'll see you in the next one.